Good morning, Dopey, and welcome to another episode of Good Morning Dopey, a deep yet often shallow dive into the book of Daily Reflections. My name is Dave, and today we have a very special guest, one of the first Dopey Toodles for Chris scholarship recipients. Her name is Charlotte. She went to Turnbridge. Welcome to Good Morning Dopey. Hi. Did you ever watch Good Morning Dopey? No. Well, now you're on it, so maybe you'll watch it. And uh, we're doing a deep yet ultimately shallow dive into the Daily Reflections. Today is March 20th. You ready? Mm -hmm. Do you ever read the Daily Reflections? No. Yeah, it's, it's tough. It's tough. And we're doing 365 of them. Terrible well, idea. I didn't even count that high. Terrible. You ready? Yes. All right, sweet. Uh, love and tolerance. Love and tolerance of others is our code. I have found that I have to forgive others in all situations to maintain any real spiritual progress. The vital importance of forgiving may not be obvious to me at first sight, but my studies tell me that every great spiritual teacher has insisted strongly upon it. I must forgive injuries not just in words or as a matter of form, but in my heart. I do this not for the other person's sake, but for my own sake. Resentment, anger, or a desire to see someone punished are things that rot my soul. Such things fasten my troubles to me with chains, Charlotte. They tie me to other problems that have nothing to do with my original problem. What do you think about that, Charlotte? I love that. I should read, nice. I should read that more. That's really good stuff. They're not usually this good. Um, I like this one because I just... I mean, one of the greatest things about being in, reco in recovery, like the idea that love and tolerance is our code is such a simple and beautiful idea. It's such like a nice way to live. Like if you know that you're going out in the world with love and tolerance being your code, like that's just a great place to start, I think. And then forgiveness, not holding on to resentment. I think, I mean... If I'm pissed, when I wake up in the morning, I pray for somebody because if I have the resentment, I'm I'm not well. You know, I'm fucking angry and crazy and, and obsessed. So I know that this helps me to uh, be free because they say such things. I mean, the language is weird, but the message is good. Such things fasten my troubles to me with chains. And I, and I find that praying actually releases the chains how do you like this quasi-religious program you're on charlotte what do you think actually i love it like i love the structure and the spirituality of uh of ai so we, what do you do what kind of spiritual stuff do you do so um i don't believe in like a formal pseudo christian god but mm -hmm. i definitely believe that um like in a power greater than myself. I don't even think it takes very much for a power to be greater than myself. So totally. I just have a lot of humility uh, in that there's something bigger out there and that I can really give whatever it is that I need to give up, up to that higher power. So that's kind of where I'm at with the God thing. And that's how I am with that. Um, I try to explain that too to my friends who are like, oh, I hate the God part of AA, but... I think that's a kind of a big misunderstood part about the 12 step program involving God. I, I think people who have the biggest problems with God don't have enough of a reason to get sober because like once you need to get sober, like you figure out how to make the, the higher power thing work. Like I, I wasn't interested in God at all until I really needed to get sober. And then I was like, well, how am I going to attach this to my experience? And, it, and I, I don't have the God thing like, like that either. I have the everything thing, like the universe yeah. thing. And, um, and that makes sense to me and it's, and it's helpful. And it's, it's also like the, like it's springtime flowers are blooming, you know, fucking ducks are being born and shit. It's like, that's God, you know, things are happening out there. You know, fish are getting antibiotics. It's all amazing. It's an amazing <laughs> yeah. universe. Things are getting rid of their bad, their bad, bad bacteria. Not every day. 
every that's day. God's God's work. It's it's God doing for the fish what the fish could not do for themselves. Um, thank you, Charlotte. Don't, what? Don't make what? Think I'm God's, like if you say that, like I'm gonna think that I'm God's work again by put these fish in antibiotics. Only if you're sick. Don't take them unless unless you know you need to. All right. Be careful. Yeah. Do it. No, you I have do the next. Have... All right. So why are you holding on to the fucking fish antibiotics then? And don't they expire? No. That would be I good think, to know. Um, yeah, I think I just had them when I moved all my stuff here from Texas, and now I just have them for emergencies. Well, this was a pleasure. Thank you for doing the daily reflection. Maybe you'll do another one in the future. I would love to. All right, cool. So stay strong, Dopey Nation. Fucking toodles for Chris, and thank you, Charlotte. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> Some more, no baby. Said no baby.